Hey y'all, we are going to be doing a cute little frog. I've been looking at some antique jewelry frogs and there's this one that I saw. This was totally encrusted with jewels. I'm not interested in doing that, but I liked the shape. I liked how it was kind of like a potato <laughs> with some little nubs sticking out and then his fingers and those cute little pads on the tips. So that's what we're going to do. Super quick and easy. I'm Stephanie. This is Deliberately Creative, and I'm so glad you're here. Let's get started. And I'm just using, this is an office pen. It's the Uniball Signo RT. It is the 0.38. And I'm going to be coloring with some Derwent Color Soft colored pencils. There might even be a little bit of some white gel pen. This is the Uniball Signo UM153 white. I like this little little potato shaped frog. So I'm just going to do sort of a general potato shape. And look at that. I didn't I didn't match up my lines. No big deal. Coming off the sides here, we've got his little arms and I'm just doing sort of a U shape sticking out. This is an easy frog. You can actually do this with kids if you are you know, do it step by step. Right now, this could be anything. You could take this in so many different directions, make so many different characters out of this, but I'm doing a little frog. Now I'm going to put, this is like a hook shape. Don't have it go all the way to the body because there's a trick here. If you come inside like this and do another hook. Look at that. Going the opposite direction. And then you can put a little closed end on it. And it looks a little funny right now, doesn't it? It's okay. Then you're just going to put a little line to join him up to his body. Then he has his feet and now his feet are going to have four toes. So I'm going to put four little, four little circles. They do not have to match. What we're going to do is do a little scoop down in and then back to the foot. Do that again. We're going to go scoop down. So we're connecting those two little, we're connecting two of the little pads with a scoop and then the outside one gets a little scoop and connected to that spot right there. Then I like the look of this little line that comes right up. It's sort of the well, it's probably, you know, it's where the little bones are that are holding the webs in his toes. Okay, the back half of him is pretty much done already now. Now we're going to do four little pads. I'm going to spread them out. So we're going to do a scoop and meet up to this little nub that we, we made. We're going to do a scoop. These are his little fingers. They're going to be separated out. And honest, I am not talking like you guys are, are little kids. I promise. This is just the way I talk and I, I get all excited and I tell myself all of these things. You know what? Sometimes we just need a little bit of childish fun. Well, let's see. Let's say there's another one there. I don't know. I don't know. And then we're going to have his little fingers splayed out in there. His little eyes. Now, I kind of like it when the eyes are more up on top of the head instead of down to the side, but we can go kind of to the side two big eyes. I'm going to make these into gems. 
and these are he's gonna have little ruby eyes but I'm putting a circle around them kind of like uh, like goggles and I'm gonna put sort of like little uh, racing stripes on his body we're gonna color this in with a uh, with just colored pencils so you can color it however you want you can doodle on it however you want you could fill this whole body up with doodles that would be awesome I'm going to just color it in but I think what I want to do just to give me a sort of a, a starting place I'm taking just a regular pencil this is just a num uh, this is a 2b and it is a 0.7 and I'm going to go in and just put a little bit of graphite. And I'm not too worried about making it perfect. I am just putting some graphite down. I'm going to smush it around using this blending stump. And I'm not going to put a ton, but I just want a little bit of the shadow going on. And you notice I'm not putting down really, really smooth. That's because this is a soft pencil graphite. 2B is a, a softer black. If you have a 2H pencil, that's going to be a harder pencil. B is black, H is hard. Black just means you can, with less pressure, you can get more dense color down. This is just kind of a close in shadowy bit. I'm not, I'm not too worried about making it really, really realistic. Really realistic? Wow. My words. I, oh, if you're interested in a catch up, um, a little catch up video, a little chit chat, I'm gonna do that at the end. So if you're here just for the art, Thank you for being here for the art. We already have the frog drawn in. Now it's, you know, going to be coloring. So right right now what I'm doing is I'm just softening out that pencil, but not into the frog. I'm doing it away. So I'm kind of pushing out away from the frog. Look at that. And you can color these guys any way you want. I say this is like a like a little Pacific free tree frog. They're cute little, cute little green frogs that hang out in the trees, little tree peepers. But you could make this a poison dart frog. If you made his body a little bit skinnier, he would definitely be poison dart frogish. But look at that. You could even leave it just black and white or blue and white as this one is. Oh, <laughs> he's already looking cute. So like I said, if you don't wanna go any farther than that, you don't have to. And if you don't have a blending stump, you could use cotton buds to, uh, to blend with. As long as you've got a soft enough pencil, you can blend it with anything. I choose not to use my fingers because if you use your fingers, you can get oil on the, on the paper and then it kind of smudges in funny ways and sort of gets sticky. So, you know, that's, that's me. That's my choice. I'm going to go ahead and lay down some color here for the highlight down the top of his body. I'm gonna say the sun's coming right down on top of him. Kind of is gonna dip down a little bit right there and then fall away towards the back and fall away down the sides. So this is like our highest high point. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to say that there's some highlight on the top of his little arms, his knees, going down his leg, and sort of at his ankle coming down. This is just the gold, the deep cadmium yellow. This one doesn't have as much showing up above, so I'm not going to put as much of the yellow. I'm putting the yellow down first just because it gives me some place to uh, work from. I'm going to put a little bit of that highlight color right on his like where that bone is because that's where the highest point fingers and toes. I'm going to grab this is the lime green. It's slightly, it's just a slightly different hue. Not sure I like that lime green, but once you put it down, sometimes it's best to go ahead and just put it around in a few spots. These Derwent Color Soft pencils are really easy to use, but you could do this with Crayola colored pencils. I, um, for the inexpensive pencils, Crayola pencils, Arteza pencils, um, the Marco refined pencils. Those are all, all decent ones. Um, a Rafine. You notice I'm being pretty, not, not paying super close attention here to making this perfect. I like a little bit of imperfection in my coloring. And since I already put the shadow down, it's helping me kind of stay in line. But I am going to grab, go ahead and grab a different green. I want a slightly darker green. This is the pea green. Oh yeah, that's better. That's more froggy. Now, I know that on frogs, they have this sort of like little drum head space where their ears are. And uh, I'm just going to kind of work that in with the coloring. I'm not, I didn't draw it in. There we go. Put a little bit of darker color coming down his little arms. But see, you can do this. This is easy, step by step, one thing at a time, and you, all of a sudden, this little frog looks like he's ready to start hopping off the page. And the way you figure out where the shadows are, if you look at your fingers and such, you know, put a light on your hand, you can kind of see where the bump of your, the bump of your hand is to that, you know, where, where your fingers come together, you can see how it's darker down inside. There's a highlight on the top and it gets a little darker coming down. Use your own hand as a, as a way to judge where the color needs to go, where the shadow needs to go, where the highlights are. It's fun stuff. But that's what this is all about. It's just exercise your own creativity, exercise your ability to observe things that are not exactly what you're drawing or coloring but how, because, you know, frogs are kind of, kind of tricky unless you've got a photograph of a frog or you've got a pet <laughs> that you have enough time to really look at them. Frogs are a little tricky. So being able to look at photos, but then if you don't have a photo of a frog with you, you can just sort of look at your hands, look at the way 
the light is shining off of a cup, you know, lay it on its side and see how the cup is shaped like this and how the, the highlights on the top and the color sort of fades and gets darker as it goes down around the edges. All of that. I'm trying to maintain a bit of that highlight right there on top and bring a slight shadow behind the bulb of the head before it goes back up onto his back. It's just what I'm doing. You are welcome to color in any way you want that makes you happy. And I am just lightly pressing. I'm not doing really heavy strokes. I did kind of heavy strokes here to get sort of that line of the shadow around where his little ear area is. But then I'm coloring right over the top of it too. Wherever you paint it or paint it, paint it or color it darker, it's going to feel like it's falling down and away. I am going to grab another, another color, another shade of green. You don't have to have that many shades of green. Really and truly, right now, I could have done it with just the yellow and a green, and then I will get my dark green. Put some shadow down here. And maybe join that shadow up. Yeah, this is very restful. It's very peaceful. It is something that you can do when you just kind of want to wind down. Doing these doodle gem eyes is going to be so much fun. And I'm getting close to doing the doodle gem part, which is basically just, you know, coloring in gems. It's a way to get some more color on here. I'm taking this bright orange actually now putting it on his fingertips and kind of working up. This bright orange is going to be one of the colors that goes into his eyes and onto those stripes. And orange and green just really play nicely together. Orange is a good color to use to shadow green. Along with blue being a really good color, like an indigo blue put in some shadows. If you don't have a lot of a lot of colors, you can do this with just a few. Go ahead and get his little toes back here. I'm not worried about staying in the lines all the time. It's kind of fun to let them go out. Get those little pads. There you go. Easy peasy. I am going to go ahead and color this stripe going down, down the back and off his nose because I want to. And now that I've got the base color, I'm not even going to change pencil. I'm just going to go a little bit harder down here where it's going down and around under under the body and up here at the front by his nose I'm going to go harder and right near where it meets into that eye now this could still be a piece of jewelry I'm gonna put a little bit of that orange around just sort of around the eye also just because because it's fun. Maybe a little bit back here in that that ear area, that timpani drum type of spot. That's looking good. All right, I do want to grab that darker green. And this is the dark green. I really want to get more 
concentrated color right down right down here and then let it sort of drift blend out blend up a little bit of that around the bottom side of the arm or the back side of the arms down here get a little more concentrated maybe a little bit more concentrated right up here behind the eyeballs and right down at the tip of his nose or the front of his face And you can, like I said, you can color as much or as little as you want. I think I am almost done with that. I want to put a little bit more yellow here. It's a little white. Bring a little more yellow down into the, into the green. You can kind of blend your colors together a bit. Take your light color back over the darker colors and you can give it give him a bit more a bit more oomph oh that's pretty all right i am ready to do those little red gem eyes so to start off with i'm going to take a white and i'm going to put kind of a highlight in here then I'm going to take, this is the Scarlet Red, and I'm going to gently, softly, not doing a lot of pressure. And even though I put that white on there, you're not gonna see it very much yet. Mostly it's a um, placeholder for when I start getting more color on. Now I am going to take the Deep Red and bring that in as my shadow color kind of around. And I don't want these to turn pink. So that's why I was kind of playing with the scarlet and the deep red after putting that white on. Oh, look at how that just popped up because I started getting more color. Once you start getting more pigment on, the white starts to press, press back up through. But these are gems, these are like rubies. It's got little ruby eyes. 
I'm going to bring that orange around. I am going to use that white gel pen to give us a bit more variation, but I'm going to take some of that yellow onto that orange. Oh, that's pretty. And look at that. We're going to put a little bit of that. Ha ha ha. See, he can go any direction. Looks like he's looking up at you. The white gel pens, you do want to start them off on another piece of paper. And then you can go in, put that brighter highlight on there, come down. Oh, look at that. Put a little bit of that in a few spots on the frog. And if you put it some if you put this gel pen someplace where you didn't like it, you can wipe it right off. I want to say he's kind of gemmy, the whole thing of him, the whole thing of him, his whole body is very gemmy, jewel-toned. Now I can go back in and darken up the shadow right close to his body. With this soft 2B pencil. And we are just about done with the drawing portion of this and I'm just gonna do a quick little catch up on what's been going on in my life, what I'm planning on doing with my channel. So if you're interested in hanging out for that, please stick around. But the drawing portion is now pretty much complete. What do you think? Please leave me a comment about what you think about this cute little this cute little frog and if you do draw the little frog please tag me at deliberately creative on social media oh i need to sign i'm gonna sign it right over here but look at that it looks like i put glass balls on his eyes doesn't that look amazing wow Half an hour lesson, done. All right, guys, really quick. Thank you so much for being here. I am working on doing, I have an idea. I went to bed last night after coming home from camping and I had an idea and my idea, and I already wrote a message and asked my patrons about this and I haven't heard back what they're thinking what they're thinking is on this. But my idea is that I have the marathon video that I did last year, January, 2021, that was like 14 hours of video of drawings. And there's some really, really cute drawings that I did step-by-step step live in front of an audience. And I am wondering what you guys would think of having me break that into several little videos of one image each video. Um, that would mean it would be, you know, 20 to 30, depending on what my, um, what my sticking power is with it. <laughs> and, and if anybody is interested in watching them. So there's going to be lots of mugs, lots of cups, lots of pen and ink, drawing fun, cozy things. They all are images that, out of my cozy and creative coloring book. It's the one with the little bunny slippers on the front and the cups of tea and, oh, it just makes me so happy and I want to share those. And I don't think that people, I think people were kind of turned off by the marathon length of that video, but it's a really good one. And I'll link it up here right now, as it is, if you're interested, there's, they're all timestamped. So all of the images on the video are timestamped and 
yeah, I want to break that out. I want to get, there's this really cute cat that I want to do. And then I also have some of these videos that I uh, went in and I painted videos on YouTube also. So what I'll do is when I break out the video, I will iCard the painting video with each of the individuals. I think that would make a really nice uh, arrangement. But let me know what you think. I, you know, had that brain thought, that brain thought, <laughs> that brain wave, whatever. I had that thought last night as I was heading off to bed. We'd been out camping. We'd been out uh, with our camping van and it was gorgeous. We went for walks. There was beautiful trails. I've got some little bits of some video. I'll pop in here or some images that I'll just put on the screen. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. I have been doing some work behind the scenes. I've been starting to uh, rework my website. And now when you land on my website, it actually gives you a gallery of my newest videos that have been uploaded to my channel. So I'm hoping that's going to help people out. You can still get to the blog by clicking on the blog link. My patrons can still get to their Patreon uh, rewards website with all of their references and freebies that I've put up for my patrons. So if you're interested in any of those things, please check out the links. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching, sharing, and uh, clicking that like button. I also appreciate when you come back and let me know after you've seen a video or a few of the videos what you thought. And if there's anything special that you want to learn how to do, leave it in a comment and let me know. Thanks, guys. And I will see you on the next Deliberately Creative video. Remember to go out do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. <laughs> Bye. Ah, that little frog.